Hey guys, welcome back to Dead Rising. In the last episode, we just killed these stupid little bitches. Now, we never have to hear from those whores again. Um, uh, what we're going to want to do now, let's see what she has to say. Okay, we got Mail Order Zombrex. This is a crazy mailman. Uh, the American hero is not the mailman, apparently, in this game. Not by Capcom logic. But anyway, uh, okay, there's that. Uh, so, like I said, there are these two katanas here. Uh, these are not actually like real katanas because those aren't what katanas look like. But these are the only ones in the game to my knowledge. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I'm not sure if you can find those anywhere else. I mean, whatever. But anyway, now, all right, it's about 11. Wow, that boss fight was like 20 minutes long. Well, whatever. Never mind. Uh, now we're going to go do a couple of missions. We could Let's go kill him right now, actually. Let's go do that. And then there's this... Actually, God, okay, I keep wanting... You know, I should probably think out the plan for the video prior to recording but apparently I'm not very good at that um, so I'll probably have to drop ah never mind I'll keep one of the katanas but I'll drop my uh, boxing my knife gloves okay so let's see we want to head to the Palisades really fast which is over to my left we're gonna go get the gambling books okay we'll just grab one over there because uh, what are you what okay because there's going to be an unmarked mission coming up here pretty soon, so... Okay, now that we're over here, let's go up to the top floor. We're going to have to find this uh, bookstore. I forgot what it was called. Not with the Playboy! Um, I have to remember what it was called, though. It was uh, sh Custom Supplies. You you charged me $25,000 for a broom. What, what gives? Unless it's like Harry Potter shit, then I'm not interested. Uh, okay, now we're gonna find it. Actually, I just I drank some stuff, so I don't really have to. Stan's large print and book magazine. Okay, right here. We're gonna want gambling two for the knife gloves. Crap. What do I want to drop? Okay, since the knife gloves are already almost dead, I'll just drop those. But okay, there's that. And we'll get the other one after we defeat the psycho. Ah, because we only need the gambling. Uh, just this once, but it makes things go so much faster. So now let's gonna now we're gonna head back to the uh, one place where we're just at. We're gonna head back to the Royal Flush Mall, but I have to find. I think I can make it. Nah, I don't want to commit suicide like that one other zombie. I'm not that pathetic. I'm not a stupid zombie. I would like to drink some vodka. I oh, thought that Dracula sounded Russian, but whatever. Anyway, uh. Yeah, vampires used to be cool until Twilight. God, you know, I don't want this to sound like, I don't know, I'd probably sound off, come off sounding pretentious or whatever, but, like, zombies have kind of gone down downhill after they came all super, uh, God, where is that store? What? Wait, is it on the top floor? <laughs> where are you, brand new? Oh, crap, I think it is on the top floor. God, it would be. Okay, yeah, like how zombies have gone mainstream, like hardcore. It has to be like zombies for everything. People are like, oh my god, zombies are so awesome. Like, I do think they're pretty cool, but I don't know. I've liked zombies forever. Now they just seem so, like, so common now. Like, everything has to be zombies. And everyone's always like, Nazi zombies! God. Uh, okay, now I have to find where I have to re go again. Space. Uh, oh, okay. So what's up here? God, that was a big waste of time. So yeah, apologize for anybody who's all like, Oh my god, I love Nazi zombies. But whatever. It's like, how much different can you get with zombies now? And everybody's so into it. I don't know. It's cool, I guess, but I don't know. I don't care. God. Uh, What is this? White. <laughs> Screw that. Okay, on the other side. Okay, so here we're going to fight our psychopath for a uh, mail order Zombrex and he's gonna give us a Zombrex after we kill him so well technically after he kills himself but oh spoiler alert sorry guys so oh look US mail amazing let's examine it hello hello special delivery signature required a signature is required for delivery god what a crazy hey, bitch buddy. I don't think there's anyone there. <laughs> <sighs> Sir. Maybe you can sign for this. Yes, it's what? Poindexter. Let's let him sign Special for it. Special delivery. Signature required. I have rounds to do and I'm behind. You do know there's a zombie outbreak going on. Obviously not. 
<laughs> he is the true American here. Look at his eyes. It's creepy. Well, his his pen says "Dead Rising." <laughs> You're Chuck Green. You stop. Actually, I have been looking for you. Ooh, what? This package is a very special delivery, just for you. <laughs> have a nice day. Be careful, Chuck. Yeah, you totally didn't give yourself away there. I can hear it through the hood. Ooh, we could have used that. Years of perfect service, perfect attendance. All ruined because you wait, how is it ruined? Without order, without routine, we have nothing. Well, you won't succeed. Where did that shotgun you come will from? Not bring down my post of service. You are going to pay. God, I think this is actually one of the longer psychopath things, like cutscenes. That one is really. I felt super long, but whatever. All right, now basically he's gonna shoot four times before reloading. Just wait for him to get finished. He'll throw bombs at you, and we're gonna go. We're gonna want to get him with uh, melee items. So, oh, three times. Sorry, but hit him with melee if you can. And this so uh, katana is really good for this. So, oh god, right there. Oh, slow motion. I fell into newspaper stand. Ow! Let me kill you now. What? What? Are you kidding me? Die, die. Uh. There, you didn't give me that. Oh. Yeah, you suck at shooting shotguns, you dumb mailman. When I was younger, I kind of wanted to be a mailman when I grew up. Oh, don't let yourself... What the... What the... What the heck happened? Whatever. Yeah, because they could wear their... Uh, uh, they could wear their uh, headphones while they work, so... Okay, screw this. I'll use a repulse. I don't... Here. This will just make zombies go away from us, so that's pretty good, I guess. And we'll just be able to make a quick step later or something. There, he's gonna be dead. And this katana should be dying pretty soon. They have a generally low lifespan, but they're pretty powerful. God, what is. Mm. Oh! He actually waited for me to get out of my spinning animation. Die! Okay, there. The great American heroes. <laughs> There, <laughs> I was like the perfect time to go slow motion. I swear to God. I need this for my daughter. I pity you. This one's a special delivery. Don't do it. Express. Wait, is he dead right there? Does that mean we actually killed him this time or Okay, maybe not. <laughs> So yeah, we got another Zombrex, you guys. Okay, now that that's done. All right, it's about 12:30. So let's um. So here's a shotgun. We don't really need it, honestly. But uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna go upstairs really fast. And we're actually gonna want to head off to the Atlantica. Um, unfortunately, it looks like this is gonna be a short video, so I'll try and lengthen it just by walking around a bit more. Well, not by walking around, just by uh, doing this stuff. And then we'll start the next batch of survivor missions after we do the uh after a new video unfortunately so I apologize for that okay so uh, it's because of that freaking long cutscene that was like five minutes wait where am I going yeah this way um, so that bridge thing over there we're gonna want to head off to to Ragazines we're gonna go pick up the second gambling book which would I think be 
gambling one. And you want to do this if you want to make the next part go fast. Otherwise, it's just kind of... Die. And you can give this uh, katana to survivors, too, so that's pretty good. God, what is that jump attack? Sucks. Die and die. Okay, now let's see. It's not that one. I think it's it's this one, I swear to... Yeah, gambling one. Okay, now we have all that. We're going to want to head over to the Atlantica Casino, which... Okay, uh, let's see. Where? <sighs> okay, we'll just go straight outside. We'll just go straight out here, uh, which I'm already facing, so I'll just go out that way. And yay, there are stairs conveniently placed there at our leisure. And there I go saying leisure again, even though it's like one of the things I hate people saying instead of like leisure. Like, people say leisure. Yeah, do so at your own leisure. That just sounds weird. It's E-I. God. All right, so like I said in the last video, I think the uh, next um, the next mission is uh, is unmarked, so nobody will tell you about it. And we want to do this because it adds three more survivors, and we'll get five hundred thousand dollars if we win. And we have to win in order for them to come to us. So that is very nice. Except I think we still have a little bit of time left, so um, it doesn't start until I think around one or one thirty. Hopefully, it's not too late. All right, so over here, we got a two by four. Make that, and then we got a magazine. Domestic? What the? What the? What the? What the is furniture items? Get out of here! Oh, and then we got a battery and a two by four. That's nothing. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll kill you. Oh, so, oh, wait a second. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want to throw you that far. I think if we mix the battery with the lawnmower, we can get something. So let's try it. Just for the sake of trying it, I suppose. Oh. I will kill you all. Die. Die. Oh, what? How, what? Oh, I guess I had to pick it up. Sorry. All right. Now let's put it here. And we can't combine it. Ah, oh, what gives? I thought we could. Maybe we'll get it later. Ah out of here. Well, I guess we can just start heading off to the next area. Since we have three survivors, we can just go ahead and uh, uh, do the thingy-majigger. Actually, we could head in through this hole over here, because that's right next to where they are, instead of going through the actual casino. So we don't have to transverse the zombies. Transverse them zombies. Wait, oh shit, we can't go through that way. There's a vault. Duh. God, that was dumb. Never mind, I guess we're gonna have to do it. Doesn't really matter, though, but Anyway, let's head through here. Okay, so it's about 110, so hopefully they're there. Um, we have to go to like a... Where is it here? Oh, there's the room. Okay, if we go into this room over here, hopefully they're there. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so they won't appear here. Ah! A peekaboo, just kidding. We're gonna go in here, and we have to play these three guys in poker, okay? This is, we only have to play them two times, technically, but that's what we're going to want to do. So next time on Dead Rising 2, we're going to get these three jerks to come with us. So I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are enjoying.